Welcome guys, to the fifth episode of the Mythbusters series. In this video, we will be taking a look at some of the interesting myths that might be useful to you, and some are completely useless, but fun to know. Starting with the first myth, if one shield reduces 50% damage, then two shields should reduce 100% damage. If you don't use any shield, the barrel M762 will one-shot kill if it's a headshot. And when you activate the barrier or the shield, it will reduce damage by 50%, so now you won't die in a single headshot. Now activating two music barriers or two shields at the same time. If each shield reduces 50% damage, then theoretically having two shields should reduce more than 50% damage, but it still reduces only 50% damage when two barriers are activated, so the myth is busted. Anyway moving on to the next myth, when you get shot, your crosshair or the aim will shake. This is also known as aim punch, when someone shoots at you, your entire body will shake due to the bullet's impact, and this could mess up your crosshair and aim sometimes. If you're wondering how much does the aim punch will change your aim and crosshair, here are a few examples. Your crosshair will jump slightly example like this, when someone shoots at you, it's a really small jump, so close range it wouldn't be a big problem, but this could be effective in long range fights, maybe that's why you miss some of your shots. So the myth is confirmed, your aim will shake when someone shoots at you, mostly known as aim punch. Moving on to the next myth, if you spray graffiti on the spawn island before the game begins, it will still remain on the spawn island even after the game starts. As you can see here, we are in the spawn island, and I used graffiti right at this location before the game begins. Now let's go back to the spawn island to see if it still exists or not. And for about 10 minutes of trying to reach the spawn island, I finally made it. Now wait for the smoothest landing with the glider. And yes the graffiti is still on the spawn island, so the myth is confirmed. Usually, if you drop anything like outfits or few items on spawn island it will disappear after the game starts, but not the graffiti. Anyway moving on to the next myth, the aim assist in TDM is much higher than aim assist in classic matches. This is the aim assist of TDM while aiming down the site. And this is the aim assist of classic matches while aiming down the site. Comparing side by side, both Classic and TDM has the same amount of aim assist, I didn't notice any differences. But if you think TDM has more aim assist, then here is a side by side comparison of hip fire between Classic aim assist and TDM aim assist, do let me know what you think. I don't think TDM has any higher amount of aim assist, both of them has the same level of aim assist. So the myth is busted. So what do you think, TDM and Classic have the same amount of aim assist, or the TDM has a higher amount of aim assist? But it's always better to play TDM without aim assist to improve even further. Anyway, here's few myths related to water, starting with the first one, gas can doesn't explode in water. So here is a gas can that is completely inside the water or covered with water, yet you can still see it. And it doesn't blow up when I shoot. So the water is protecting the gas can by absorbing all the bullets. But you can actually destroy the gas can, even if it's inside the water. So the water will not allow bullets to pass through, but if you manage to get your weapon inside the water, then the bullets will behave normally, and it will blow up the gas can. So the myth is busted. And the next myth is, if you're inside water and someone is shooting at you, you won't get hit because water will not let any bullets pass through. As you can see the enemy is now inside the water. And the water is absorbing all the bullets, and you can also notice the water splashes which are caused when the bullet hits the water. So if you're inside the water, no bullet can hit you or damage you unless your enemy managed to get the weapon inside the water. So the myth is confirmed, bullets can't pass through the water. And the next myth, we can fire underwater by taking car in water and change the seats and shoot. This will be a really great trick, just park your vehicle in the water and change your seat 
and if you see any enemies you can shoot at them, but they can't shoot at you since the water will absorb all the bullets, best way to camp, if there is water in last circles. So the myth is confirmed, but your viewing angles will be bad, and also you might deal less damage, when shooting from water I guess. Now to the next myth, if you shoot two shots of the double barrel shotgun rapidly while walking forward, you will go two steps back. This is actually a glitch, happens a lot with M1014 shotgun in Livic. You randomly get teleported, after firing two or more rounds of shotgun rapidly. But now currently the glitch has been fixed, so you won't get teleported, after firing rapidly two or more times with a shotgun, and it won't happen anymore, so the myth is busted. Now moving on to the next one, if you place few fuel cans side by side, and blow one of them, it will blow all of them. So here we got about 5 fuel cans, all placed really close, now let's blow up one of them to see if it blows everything. The myth is busted, you have to blow each and every individual fuel can in order to blow it up, PUBG physics sucks. Anyway moving on to the next myth, if one Molotov cocktail does up to 70% damage to enemies, then using two Molotov cocktails at the same time should do more than 70% damage. So now the two Molotovs are thrown at the same time, and let's see if they do more damage than usual. Even with two Molotovs it's still 70% damage, but let's do another try and stay for a little bit longer this time. It's still 70% damage, so the myth is busted, no matter how many Molotovs you use, you still do the same amount of damage. Now to the last myth, you cannot touch the water using a motor glider's wing, you will crash in the water. The glider's wing is inside the water, so the myth is busted, you can fly a motor glider, even while touching the water, but make sure you don't go too much inside water. And also you can touch the water with glider's body, and still fly without crashing. Anyway, that's all I got for this video I hope you learned something new, if you did hit the like button and subscribe for more upcoming videos like this, and see you guys in the next video.